Hello guys, this is Adam and this is the 2026.0.1 ZBrush. We will be testing it on the M5 MacBook Pro with 16GB of RAM, 10 core GPU, as well with 512GB of storage. Now if you were interested in other software such as Maya Twin Motion or Blender or whatever that might be, go ahead and check the channel. All of these were uh, done in terms of testing. However, today it's ZBrush's turn. In terms of the tablet, I am using the Intuos Pro Medium. I do have my chai latte next to me so I can be shown as a safe a black person or a black artist. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then <laughs> that's why recording the screen as well. And I want to see if this is supported officially by Maxon since Pixel Logic sold the software and probably that's the worst decision that they have ever made. So in terms of ZBrush as you can see right here it is saying Apple in terms of the kind that means it is natively supported with the Apple uh, M chip series and I want to see if the Maxon software is supported officially as well. So that is the Maxon app and it's supported by Apple as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and make something fun. I will start with adding an eye right here, but I definitely need to make this as a poly mesh. Poly mesh, and then here we go. No, I do not like that. I would like to increase the subdivision, and yep, that is much better. However, I want it to be from the middle. There you go. Let's just go down a little bit, and I want to do something that is more on the bird side of things. So basically, you know, like those people when there was uh, this illness way back in the day? We're, I'm not talking about what happened in 2019. It was a pandemic that was before that. Now framing is working, zooming in and out is working just fine, and then moving, that is working just fine as well. This is the mouth, even though suppo this is supposed to be an ear, I think using it here as a mouth is actually a good idea. Now let's add an actual ear. However, I want to turn on symmetry so basically by just clicking x we can do symmetry let's go for a more of a human ear type of thingy yeah let's do that so i think that is hmm no i don't i think that is too big uh, no. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, that's decent. So we have that. You are very welcome for the induced uh, nightmares. Anytime that you want to have more nightmares, please let me know. Let's try this eye if we... Uh, ooh. <laughs> you know what? That sounds creepy even for me. Let's turn off symmetry. Let's go ahead and take a mouth and then add it on top. However, that would not be necessarily a mouth, but it would just be literally the head is open. So there's that and then if we go back uh, no I have a better idea if we go back to the back we can use one of these oh yeah that's more like it the creepy oh the creepy is the better here we go this is working as it should I am really liking what I am seeing now I will say this if I am working on something and then I am not feeling the software is getting in the way or the program is getting in the way by the way for for the poly count, I am increasing the poly count on purpose. Right now, we are looking at 33,292 million quad polygons. And the reason for that is just I want to see if we increase the polygons and we keep increasing it, you know, stressing out the program to its maximum and also the laptop to see if it's going to hiccup or it's going to slow down or whatever that might be, just so we can have a better idea about what to expect when we are getting things increasingly more difficult. In terms of the subdivision level, we are at the highest. Okay, so now let's test the BBR. This is what we are working with. So far, I am not noticing anything that is stopping me from doing whatever I want to do. So even if I bring perspective in, and then let's go ahead and increase that to 7, and then hit BBR, rendering the samples, how much it took. It did not take a lot, and then it did render it as well. And I think that is a really good performance. Keep in mind, the polygons for this, in a general sense, is just insanely high. Does that make sense? No, that not. That does not make sense. It makes sense being in here, though. Okay. 
There you go. That's more like it. Nice. Now here for the bottom, I would like to do something as well. Let's try because why not? Here we go. And it would just be something like when you are playing maybe the game, what is it called? The Sons of the Forest. One of those people would come and be carrying that and trying to hit you with it. However, I want it to be not there necessarily, but I want it to be here exactly, like right down the middle. There you go, that's more like it. Now it's slowing down a little bit. That's because we have... Um, bbr turns on maybe something like that and keep in mind i am recording the screen as well so that does play a role as well so this is what we are looking at thus far and i am not having any issues can i do sub i cannot do any subdivision any anymore i think i reached the limit at least with the recommended settings and now we are bbring wow okay that's actually really good Okay, so with that, to stress test it one more time, I just went ahead to memory, and then from memory, I made max poly mesh to be 100. So let's go to geometry, HD, and then divide, sculpt, and then divide. Let's see what we are looking at. The high definition poly right now, we are at 53 million. Let's see at what point does it breaks. It's slowing down right now. We are at 50 <laughs> 532 million polys. And PPR is on. This has definitely pushed it to the limit. Okay, so I guess that's honestly the breaking limit. We are at 532 million for the high definition poly. We are at 33 million for the visible uh, frames. For the visible frames. I mean for the visible polys because I'm thinking of frame rate. That's genuinely the breaking limit because no matter what you will be doing, even if you are working on a very high production movie, the most that you will ever be going to is about 2 million for a very high production movie. So we are at 532 million and we can still move just fine. Now, of course, these are not the visible because the visible is 33 million, but still, even with the 33 million that is visible, that's like way beyond what is normal and way beyond what you can go through or even use or whatever that might be. So let's do a quick BBR and see. With that, I would say if you want to use ZBrush on an M5 MacBook Pro, you are more than welcome to and you can handle up to the maximum that is allowed with subdivision and even if you use geometry HD subdivision you can go to 532 in terms of millions that is and you will be good to go ZBrush M5 approved